You ever wonder what it's like to live and volunteer on a regenerative farm in Japan? Sometimes I really like some people, sometimes uh, <laughs> I'm sure you think about that all the time. So here I am to give a glimpse into community farm life in Japan. Fukushima Kendo and Anihono <笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑> I'm Joshua, I'm 18, and I'm from South Africa. I'm uh, Nils Habegger. Oh, I will not say my last name. My name is Nils. I'm 24 years old, coming from Switzerland. It has been three months that I am here working as volunteer. So, I have a lot of information about the people who are デジネラティブ農業をペースに繰り上げようとしています。で、多くの人が農業に。オッケー、ミンジャストワン、サモラ。オッケー、ガイズ、ウィガン。ウィガンアキャッツスプリング。オッケー。でも、イズカインドオフ
I like to be here in this farm because um, there is a lot of people who come here and every time it's a little bit uh, a different uh, ambience with uh, sometimes uh, you really like some people, sometimes uh... <laughs> in this farm there is a lot of uh, freedom. You, you can a little bit choose what you want to make and how. For example, I had to take care about this Japanese garden. Uh, this was abandoned for five years, so it was really wild and I had to cut and make, make it look nice. So today we're harvesting radishes and with the radishes you can pull them whenever you see the shoulders of them poking out of the dirt and once we get back to the house we'll wash them and then divide them into A, B and C groups. We are, we have some radishes here and we're dividing them into three groups, uh, A, B, or C. So this one is looking pretty, pretty nice and smooth and no infection, so this would be an A radish. Is there a B example maybe? This one, this is, this is a B, classic B example here. See there's a little knot here. It's perfect in its own way, but not perfect for the consumer. So. We're going to put it in the B category. Uh, now, there's also C. Like this. C. C. Yeah, this is a C category. This is all. What I learned, I think, the most is how, like, community work. Because there is a lot of people. We are now maybe 20 volunteers. And we have to find uh, the right balance and uh, how how manage like a community like like this. So Eva, what have you cooked today? It's given by um, lentil soup and a little bit of pasta. Okay. Uh, not sugar, no. It's no. like a What's in this salad? The supuesto is like when you assume something. So it's like it's uh, red. <laughs> I yeah, I think also a good thing, what I learned is there is a lot of people who wanted to help. If you are in a farm business, you don't need like real employee, but you can find some alternative because I know farm business is really hard work. And uh, with this help from the volunteers, it can be a solution. Yeah, there is on one side people who are ready to help and on the other side people who need help. And we find like a, a good way every side and are happy. <laughs> what has your experience been working at uh, this farm? It's been really great. I've met some like amazing people. Um, like the work is it's so fun, like coming from school where I just like sit and study all day. Mm -hmm. It's like a big change and I love it. Have you learned any interesting things all up in here? Definitely, obviously Japanese has been, it's been great. Um, and just the farming method here, because it's so different. Like uh, the way they just like let the weeds like grow with the plants. Um, to create like environments where insects and the plants can exist together. お客さんにとってもこういうオーガニックの野菜っていうのはとてもまあ生産者の顔が見えるっていう部分ですごく安心できると思いますしあのまあ僕たちもその中間業者がいない分その自分たちのなんていうかな思いみたいなのが届けられやすいかなと思うのでこの辺はすごくなんていうんですかね一つのパッケージじゃないかなと思います環境を、えー、良くするためにはえー、人間がどうしてあの都会に集まっているでしょうそれは、えー、便利だからいろいろな遊びもあって仕事もあって選択肢がたくさんあるからだから同じように
、えー、畑、環境の方も選択肢が多いっていう状況を作ります。野菜もあるし、ハーブもあるし、花もあるし、雑草もある。いろいろな選択肢を、えー、環境に提供することで、えー、いろいろな虫やあ鳥、生き物が集まってきます。そうすることで生物多様性が回復してきます。で、同じように、土壌の地の中に、えー、植物が光合成をすることで、えー、空気中にある二酸化炭素、まあ、炭素炭素を地の中に戻していくことができます土の中に炭素が戻ることで、えー、肥料とか、えー、農薬とかをあ必要としなくても野菜を作ることができます。